Hello students, welcome back to Education on Cloud. Yesterday and day before yesterday, we were looking into the topic how to solve a number when a number is given. How should we prove that the number is irrational? So today we have to look. We have exercise 1.3, and there are some three questions in that. We'll just solve all the three questions today. To get started, the first question is prove that root 5 is a rational number. If you can note that or check into that in uh, while solving the example problems. I have already taught you how to prove that root 2 is a rational number, how to prove that root 3 also is a rational number. I have also shown you that how to prove root 5 also uh, as an irrational number. We have solved there but here uh, the same answer it follows. But here this is exercise 1.3 first question the question is to just sum it up I will just write the steps for you. I have already done, done this question but again for you I am just doing. Let us consider root 5 as a rational number. The first step is we have to consider root 5 as a rational number. If it is rational number, root 5 will follow p upon q where p and q are co-primes. We have already solved some 4 or 5 examples upon this. This is the continuation of that out of which even this also I, I have solved. For this, if we just cross multiply, we will be getting root 5 q is equal to p and then square it on both the sides. 5 q square is equal to p square. Okay. Let's consider this as equation 1. By theorem 1, 1 1.3, we can tell that phi divides p square, hence phi divides p. If you can check, this is how the same method only have followed while solving the question also. The same manner you have to solve. Now, phi is equal to q is equal to phi m. Let m be some integer. Now, you replace this sorry this is q is equal to 5m p is equal to 5m this p is equal to 5m you have to consider this equation and then now you have to square it on both the sides you'll be getting p square is equal to 5m the whole square then the same method you'll get you have to follow p square can be substituted as 5q square you have to write the same manner and you have to write the conclusion if you can see only the number has been changed in the question root 2 root 3 root 7 root 5 root 11 for every prime numbers the solution will be the same it is just that wherever you have phi you have to replace it with the number with the other number so uh, if it is if you have given root 2 you have to replace it with root 2 if you have root 3 you have to replace it with root 3 else every step even the statement this p and q are co-primes every step remains the same for the whole this exercise 1.3 you have to keep it in mind that we already know that root 2 root 3 root 5 all these are irrational we have proved that already even in this question also after you write the conclusion by contradiction since r assumption is wrong root 5 is irrational number
see by this you, you already know that root 2, root 3, root 5, root 7, root 11 all these are irrational number using this as a basis we will be solving few more questions for example yesterday the, pre, uh, the last question which we had solved was root uh, 3 root 2 I would like to solve this again is equal to p upon q 3 root 2 is equal to you just cross multiply this and then you just keep always remember that towards your left hand side only one root should be there whatever it is even if it is a rational number you have to keep only the root side part towards one hand side and towards the other hand side if you are keeping L uh, towards LHS uh, root So you just keep it in your mind that uh, there is an equation, this thing, this whole thing is an equation now. One is left hand side and one, uh, the other one is uh, RHS. So what you want to do, if you are having this thing towards your right hand side, make sure that the whole thing within the root, whatever is there within the root, you will keep it towards one hand side and whatever is left over, make sure that you will put, uh, put it to the other hand side. So accordingly here, I'll continue over here only. So what can we write? See I have only kept root 2 over here towards the left hand side. Towards the right hand side I have shifted 3 also, I have shifted q also. So here root 2 is irrational number but p upon 3q cannot hold true. Since irrational is not equal to rational, our assumption our assumption is wrong, hence 3 root 2 is rational, uh, irrational number. This is how you have to solve. First, you just assum assume that it is a rational number. Then write it in p upon q format where after writing this, write p and q are co-primes where q is not equal to 0. That statement you have to write in every question. And then once you solve, just make sure that root within the root is uh, on the one hand side. And whatever is not there on um, within the root, you have to put it to other hand. The next thing, next question, this is the question 2, prove that 3 plus 2 root 5 is a rational number. If you can note that, I just said that we already know that root 5 is uh, irrational. Let's just write, let us assume that 3 plus 2 root 5 is rational. 3 plus 2 root 5 is equal to p upon q where p and q are co-primes q is not equal to 0. Now you just cross multiply the same you will be getting 3 plus 2 root 5 q is equal to p. I just said you that keep within the root one side and just push it rest to the other hand side root 5 2 root 5 q is equal to we can write it in one step only minus 3 first I just shifted this 3 
first I just shifted this 3 to the other hand side, you will be getting 3, just do LCM and you will be getting 2 root 5 is equal to P minus 3 Q upon Q. Now just keep within the root one hand side and even this 2 goes down, even that will be on the denominator, right? So what you will be getting finally is This is what you will be getting finally. Okay, fi root 5 is equal to P minus 3Q upon 3Q. But we already know that, I will write the conclusion part over here. We already know that root 5 is a rational number. since irrational number cannot be equal to rational number, our assumption holds wrong. Hence, 3 plus 2 root 5 is irrational. Okay. The steps, first you have to assume it is rational number. Then just cross multiply whatever it is there. Make sure that towards your left hand side you will be having only the irrational number that is within the root. Whatever you have, just make sure that you will be having. Rest everything, you just push it to the other hand side. Once this is there in the... Um, p upon q format. Even though it is p minus 3 q upon 2 q, once you just substitute whatever number you take and substitute, it will at the end of the day it will come by p upon q format only. This p upon q whole thing is a rational number. Since that we are writing it as a conclusion that root 5 is, we already know that root 5 is a rational number. Irrational number cannot be equal to rational number. Hence our assumption is wrong. And uh, therefore, this 3 plus 2 root 5 is an irrational number. This is how you have to solve how many ever questions you take. These are the basic uh, steps you have to follow. And uh, the further questions also you have to write in the same manner. See, 1 upon 1 by, uh, one by uh, root 2 is there. First thing you have to consider is 1 upon root 2 is rational. Okay, first you have to assume this. Once this is rational, what you have to do? 1 by root 2 is equal to p by q and write whole thing in within the bracket that p and q are co-primes and q is not equal to 0. The Since this is uh, uh, in the denominator, numerator and denominator factor, we will just reverse this. what you will be getting root 2 is equal to q upon p. What did I just do? I just want this was there in the fraction form. I just wanted it in a single format. So I just took it, I just reversed it and this also this goes to the numerator and this comes to the denominator. Again you just even this p upon q or q upon p in rational numbers means the same. Since we already know that, again the same thing, since we already know that whatever is there here, we already know that root 2, in the place of root 5, you will be replacing it with root 2. Root 2 is already a, a, a rational number and then it is in the format of p upon q. Irrational is not equal to rational. Hence our assumption is wrong. Therefore, 1 by root 2 is irrational number. Okay, this is how you have to solve. 7 root 5 and 6 plus root 5.
first step assume 7 root 5 let is assume Seven root five is rational number. And then write it in the format P upon Q. Where P and Q are pro, uh, co primes, Q is not equal to zero. Make sure you just keep this root five towards one hand side and you'll be getting five is equal to 7 uh, p upon 7 q is what you will be getting. Write the statement again. We already know that irrational cannot be equal to rational therefore our assumption is wrong hence 7 root 5 is a rational number there is mu nothing much great about the whole exercise problem once you just know that how to solve that root 2 root 3 root 5 every every each and every step what you have to every question the only steps is first you assume then make sure that only within the root whatever is there in the rational side you just keep it on one side and just push push to the right hand side then write the statement knowing that our assumption is wrong one last question 6 plus root 2 6 plus root 2. Let is assume 6 plus 2 root 2 is rational. 6 plus root 2 is equal to p upon q where p and q are co primes. q is not equal to 0. And then over here also just keep 2 root 2 towards your left hand side p by q minus 6 root 2 is equal to p minus 6 q by q write the assumption we know that root 2 is irrational number root 2 sorry irrational cannot be equal to rational hence our assumption is wrong if you can see the questions which I have solved today in every question the statement the conclusion part remains the same it is just whatever there whatever is there in the question you just have to note that you, sh you should be conscious of what number exactly which number you are writing it will be either root 5 or root 2 root 2 in the first question we saw root 3 like that so just to conclude this exercise 1.3 I have solved each and every question of this quest, um, of this exercise there were, there were only three questions and in the coming class I will take a new topic that is uh, regarding rational numbers till now we were seeing irrational number topic in the coming class I will be taking uh, rational number till then just make sure that you are uh, exactly thorough with 